Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Camille Trent and today we're working on a winter Christmas um, tutorial of a little mailbox with the Santa envelope inside of it. Um, I go over this step by step and so if you have any questions leave them in the comment section. Also don't forget to check out my Patreon. The link is in my description box and my about page. I have exclusive tutorials over there weekly for all my Patreons which uh, help support my channel. Uh, this week we're working on more Christmas stuff, uh, Christmas cards especially. And also don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up. And let's get started. Okay, to get started I'll go over supplies and they're always in the description box. I have a piece of, it's like a 5 by 7 inch piece of Archer's 100% cotton cold pressed paper taped down with scotch tape on a piece of cardboard. I have my paints, they're always in the description box. I go over them as I use them. They're my palette here. Um, paper towel or whatever you use to wipe off your brush with. Water jars are always up here. And um, I printed out a bunch of like, you know, mailboxes that are royalty free images so I can get an idea. Like I was trying to find, so I had something in my head all night and I was trying to like see if I can find an actual image. So I kind of created my own from using some of these images. I wanted like a trees in the background, but then I wanted the mailbox to be open um, you know with snow in it with a letter in it so I drew mine out already so I'll tell you how to draw this basically you're taking a piece of paper so I have mine kind of like on a slant the mailbox just kind of goes like this the line right and see if you want to make this easy for yourself just draw a rectangle for now right and then you just draw another long rectangle and then from here, you're going to just curve the line, right? And then here, you're going to curve again. See that? And then you have your mailbox. Of course, that's a little too long, so I would curve it maybe a little bit shorter. You can just erase that, right? And then for the opening, it's just kind of mirroring the inside and then we have a letter just sticking in here and then we can do the um, what do you call it <laughs> the letter uh, the little flag that's what it is a flag on the side that's down because it's got the mail in it and then we just put the snow on top like that you can put some snow here and just like that and then we're gonna put the background here in the background so again, you draw a rectangle, right? You do like a half, like a, like a upside down U, and then you just curve here, and then you have your mailbox, and then you just go like that. Again, oh, and mine has like a bottom and a little brace, a brace. So I hope you understood that. It's pretty simple. And then you put the snow on top, put a letter, which is a rectangle inside, and you have it. You can just print out some from like, you know, the internet like I did here. See how this one has, even if you don't want, if you don't want to do the whole upside down U, you can do something like this, which is just basically the rectangle. You know, and I'm gonna probably paint mine straightforward, but you can make it into like a candy cane box, you know, and then have snow on top and a little sticking out. Voila! <laughs> so many different ways. So just think of it as shapes, rectangles, upside down U, and you'll get it. It's that simple how to draw it. I mean, again. Rectangle, upside down U, mailbox. Another rectangle on the bottom, connect it, and then the flag. So I have mine drawn out already. I actually had it leaning too, so you can just kind of draw it a little bit leaning. Uh, like it's. Just and I'm going to erase with my kneaded eraser some of the areas. So I want to put it in snow. I want to have some like trees in the background, um, greenery. I didn't want it to be all 
throughout the mailbox. And it's kind of like a vignette. I taped it down just in case I decided to paint outward on the other side. So right now I'm going to grab my Princeton 8 Long Round. I'm going to mix up some green tones. I have this olive green here. I'm going to add a little Prussian blue to it. So you get this evergreen bluish green color. I'm going to add a little Van Dyke brown. Maybe more blue. I feel like the the greeneries in winter are like more blue green, like blue spruces. Now if you need a guidance, you can just kind of like draw in, sketch in like the trees if that helps you. So we're going to just paint in some trees. Oops. See, it's a little too bright. I'm going to go back in and add some more of this blue and a little Van Dyke brown. Okay. Take the tip of the brush. We're just going to do these little wisps like this. Just like that. I might want to, I think I have the paint a little too dark. I'm going to take some of the color off. Again, I'm going to add a little more blue. And you can just do whatever green you want. See how I'm just taking the tip of the brush and just going like that. Try not to hit my snow. So this is wet on dry. So I'm doing like rows in between, like the snow hit the tree. Just like that. And then I'm just tapping up a little bit more. So we'll try that again. I'll put some down here. Try not to hit your mailbox. <laughs> If you need to use um, masking fluid, that helps also. I'm just going to go through and put that greenery down. Just like so. And I'm going to do another tree over here. Maybe make this one a little bit taller. So you're leaving white spaces in between. And if you messed up, we can go over with some gouache to fix it. And we could actually add some snow. See, I'm just leaving some snow parts. Just tapping my brush like that. Some greenery. If that's too difficult, we can just kind of just throw in the green, like I said, throw in the greenery. Just like this, make a green tree. See how I'm just pushing the paint like that? Trying not to hit the mailbox. <laughs> Let's blue the screen. Just like so. So you mix up that blue screen color. I'm going to have to mix up more. And like I said, if you mess up, see, I'm just pushing the paintbrush around. See, I'm just making these little marks like that. You can always go in and add gouache later. Try not to hit the snow from your mailbox and your little letter once you draw it in. So it's gotten a little dark under this part, but that's okay. 
So I'm just going to fill that in and then go and fill the tree part in like that. And I'm mixing, you see, some blue, some dark blues, and some greens. Okay, from here, we'll tweak the trees a little bit. Add some more blue. Don't worry about it too much, though. Like I said, we can always go back in with some gouache, which I'm definitely going to be doing with mine. Just tweaking the greenery. Gonna add another tree. Just a little one over here. If you want to add a sky, you can add a sky. I didn't kind of do that in the beginning. Take this uh, Prussian and Peacock Blue, add a little Van Dyke Brown to that. Maybe a touch of magenta. I want like an ultramarine blue, and I don't have one, so I'm trying to create it. And ultramarine has a little red tint to it. See, I practice on the paper towel and see how the color blue it is. I'm going to put a little blue in here. And back behind the trees. Going to add a little gray to that. I don't want it so bright. That was like a really bright blue. Okay, so we can add some blue sky if you want. So I'll take my brush. What I'm going to do is take some clear water and just kind of push it around where the trees were. It's been kind of bleeding a little bit. And over here in this space, it might bleed a little bit. And then we can just go and add some of our blue in. Just move it around a little bit. If it bleeds the trees, that's okay. I'm just gonna flush in some blue. Okay. I'm trying not to get this part of the snow. on top on the mailbox. Like I said, make a mistake, we can always just go in and add some gouache. While this uh, blue sky is right next to your tree, you can kind of go in and push around some of that green color like I'm doing here. I can bleed out just a bit, just to soften up the trees. Oh, I'm a little bit softer. That one bled a little too much. I'm just going in and lift up some of that paint. So they're kind of fuzzy, pretty fuzzy color. <laughs> My sound effects. I want this soft kind of tree. Most likely I'll be using gouache today. I like it because then it's easier to control. I'm going back in and adding some more darker greens, by the way. And then the mailbox. So you keep adding some like Prussian blue. the trees 
has a blue tinge to it in the trees. So I think we're done with the trees. <laughs> All right, I want a red mailbox, you know, or I could do a red letter, but I think I might do a white letter and a red mailbox. I don't know. Red letter, red mailbox, black mailbox, white mailbox, green mailbox? No, because you have green trees. I did like the black mailbox with the red letter. I don't want to do a white one. I think I want to do a red mailbox. And we can have the flag be black. And the letter stay white. So um, you can grab whatever red paint you have. I have this magenta. I'm going to touch the yellow in it, turn red. Get this nice red color. And I'm going to fill it in, except the flag part. Or it doesn't really matter because if it's going to be black, I can just put that in later. So we're going to just fill this in. Put the edge of that right there. And then whatever dark tones you have for red, I mix up multiple things to make my dark red. I mix like the Van Dyke brown, the magenta, the yellow. So it's a nice deep red, almost like a crimson red. You can add some crimson to it. And this is where you, this paper comes in handy, is that we put in a little of the, just a tap on the edge and have it bleed in. Just like that. Maybe under the flag thing too. And it's your red mailbox. And then we're gonna put the red part down here. That's because I'm going to use the gouache for snow. I'm just going to fill this all in red. And more of the deeper red because it's laying down. The inside of the mailbox will make like gray. Let's see, adding the dark color right there for the shadow of the letter coming out of the mailbox. And then this I could make brown or I could make a color. I could make it. Um, like I told you, like the candy cane, but I think I'm going to do brown. So I'm going to remove this green color out of the way and grab my Van Dyke brown. Just loosen that up. And just put that right in there. Just right out of the color with a little water. I'm not mixing anything with it. Get that Van Dyke brown. Here's the crossbar, and I did paint too much over the green over this one over here, but that's okay. So we're going to have to let that brown dry before we put in the, um, the lines like it's a wooden piece. Meanwhile, let's work on some snow stuff down here. So uh, you can add in some grass, whatever you feel like, you know, the snow would need, it would need a blue tone to um, indicate that it's snow or a shade of snow. Sorry, I'm just moving around some crap over here. Let's take up this color. So mix up a blue, I have, a, I have that Prussian and that blue and I'll take some either black and brown, just dull it out a little bit and some of the magenta and I'll test it here. Always seems to look too purpley. All right, 
I want it really watered down so it's really pale. I'm just going to put in some blue. See, it's on a mound, so I'm just going to put some blue going down like that, the shadow of the mailbox. Like another one over here. Just like that, like the sun's coming that way. And we can put some snow shadows this way too. Just like this, it's going this way. I'm gonna put another one back here. And we can put in some like grasses that are coming through the snow. Not too much of it. I'll still keep it mostly white. Add some blue where I missed it over here. I might have added too much blue over here, so I'll just take that up. Paper towel. And I'll put a little bit down here. And then you take your Van Dyke Brown. That's what's good about this, um, for instance, eight long round. Might add a little black to that. Don't want it super wet. You want it pretty creamy, less water. I'm gonna wisp up some grasses. Just like that. Make them variegated in size. You can add a little green to that. Having them down the front, over here, and the ones back here. You don't want to go too crazy. Just like that, just a few grasses. So now that the the brown should be dry. We're going to go in and put these little um, details of the wood grain. So we just go down with little lines. And then you could put like a little, um, the eye, it's like an oval and we'll go around that. Just these two little lines going down. Just like so. And over here. Now I didn't do, I'm going to take some more of this dark brown and put it right underneath the mailbox. It was that piece of wood that I forgot to paint in. I'm going to do these little lines like so. So it looks like wood grain. Under there, I'm going to add a little green because I missed that spot and I want that to be filled in. Okay. So now we're going to do the gray part above the letter. Just whatever gray color you have, mixed up, paints gray, whatever. I'm just gonna put this inside the mailbox part and leave the letter part white. So you fill that in a little closer and you're gonna add even a darker tone right on the inside while it's still damp and let it bleed out a little bit. So it has that realistic look to it. And now we can, this is pretty, it's damp, but it's not super wet. We could add the flag, simple black flag. If you wanted to put a number on the mailbox or a name, that would be cute too. I didn't even think about that. I should have put a name on there. So I'm adding like some like deeper, darker color edge to this opening mailbox right here. And a little over here. Still try not to touch it. 
Now the letter, you can't keep it super white. It wouldn't make any sense. It should have a little gray in here. So I would be doing more of the blue, really pale blue. Just kind of put like a little wash of color. Not too much, really loose, really light on the inside part. See, a little gray. Just because it's like inside that mailbox and it's creating a shadow. All right, so now we're gonna just deal with the snow part. So I have some white gouache. I always use it on this side. And we're gonna tweak the trees and the mailbox. And then if you wanna put snow in, and then for the letter, we would use a pen or something small because you're gonna paint words, it's gonna be really hard. So got the gouache, adding a little water. We can go in and tweak the trees with snow on it. Just like this. See, I'm just going like that on the side. My brush, tweaking it with the snow. It's so much easier to do this with the gouache than trying to leave the trees white in certain areas. So much easier. See, I'm just going in and tweaking all this. And this one that I didn't do, see how I just painted a regular tree? And I can go back in and add the snow. It's so much easier to, to add the gouache than to paint, like I showed you, where, you know, you're leaving the snow. Just haphazardly place it around. And a little more down here on the bottom. Okay, and so here, like again, if you mess up the snow, and we do want to like a little blue tinge to that one, so we didn't do that, that yet. And if you want to put a little snow on the mailbox. Okay, clean up our brush. I'm gonna add just a slight blue like I did with the envelope on the snow up here. Just a little bit, not too much. In here. And again, the, the red mailbox can get a little bit darker. Mine's a little cranberry, but that's okay. It's kind of like that rustic cranberry look. Instead of a red red. You could just add another layer of color. I was looking a little too pink, so I'm adding some darker red. I don't want a pink. I want red, red. Just play around with yours. Okay, so we have the snow on there. We have all these things here. You could put a little animal here. You could put a little um, chipmunk, a little squirrel, a little rabbit. I might add a little bit more of this dark tree over here. Dark green. I'm just tweaking the trees a bit. Okay. Here you can use um, a micron pen, a sharpie. I have a little sharpie here. Um, you want to write with red pen, Santa, 
I have a teeny brush. For me, I'm going to use the brush. And you can pretend like put a little stamp there. So I'm going to put like, just take my little black. Or I'm going to actually take my Sharpie. Make like a faux stamp. See the little square. And then you could put, if this is dry, Santa, I like the word Santa. You know, you can put like a little de decoration right around it. Something cute like that. And like I said, here in the mailbox, you can write the name of the the people who own the house. <laughs> It'd be kind of cute. And just from here, you're just gonna tweak like all the little things that, you know, I'm gonna add a little dark elements underneath that where the mailbox meets the wood piece. Go back in and fix that, tweak that. Just little tweaks. A little shadow here. You know, maybe a little one down here too. Coming from the grasses. Just gonna play around with tweaking it. And pretty much that's it. It's just this winter um, mailbox scene. And then if you want to add some snow, at this point, take the gouache, get it pretty loose, and I would splatter it, but nicely splatter. So, got this really loose gouache. It's thicker than watercolor, so it won't splatter as, <coughs> excuse me, intense. So you got the snow, it's snowing. Oh, mine got a little crazy. Over the mailbox. I'll have to tweak it. <laughs> but this is how you make it, like it's crazy snowing. And I like that because it's fun. Ta-da! Now see, it bled a little bit because that was a little wet. So you can just lift it up a little bit, go back in and fix it with the, the paint. Once it's dry, you know, go back in, grab some of your red, and just go back over that. It should be fine. And then you can just actually tink with your brush and just make little dots of snow. So we're going to lift this up, see our finished piece. Ooh. And so, I, like I said about the trees, I was kind of like leaving some white spots to show you the two ways to do it. But I would just, if it's really hard, difficult, I would just paint the tree in and then go back in with the gouache. And paint that. Ah. Sorry, tape is everywhere. Like I said, you can write the name on the mailbox and whatnot. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know when my tutorial is up. And uh, my Patreon, I have a Patreon that uh, I have exclusive tutorials and traceable downloads there weekly on Thursdays. And right now we're working on Christmas. Um, so last week I had Christmas cards. Tomorrow I'll have some more Christmas cards there. So the link is in the description box and in my about page. And uh, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoy this and take care and I'll speak to you soon.